Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my debt payoff update. Just a little warning, I'm filming multiple videos today so you probably will see me in this for the next, this video, another video and possibly a third video just so I can start getting myself ahead and getting back on track. Today's video is CC debt payoff update. If you have been following me, this is my third episode in paying off my credit card. I have a lot of debt, like credit card debt. So I'm washing clothes right now. Today is my last day off for the weekend. So I'm doing so much laundry right now. So if you hear that, I'm sorry, but right now it's a time for me to film my videos. It is 10 o'clock in the morning, by the way. And my planner and my phone because I wrote my little prompt on my phone. First thing we're gonna do is catch up. Well, what's going on with me? How have my last two weeks gone? It's gone okay. I honestly have been in a funk mentally. I have been like out of my body. Like, I don't know what it is. I think it's my depression. Um, I've been going through a lot of stuff at work, like with people and just having anxiety for um, this new position that I applied for. I haven't heard anything back. I sent an email last week and I guess they're still looking to set up an interview for me, but I'm having a lot of anxiety over that because I really need a new position at my job. The pay would help a little bit, like it would, and the hours would be so much better for my mental health. Um, so I have just been really out of it, not myself, and just, I don't know. I just, I'm in a funk. Don't know what it is, but I'm in a funk. How I did with my no spend. My no spend was good. I did go to Starbucks one day and get a like lemonade because <sighs> I was craving one. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was craving one. So I'm not mad about myself. Not mad at myself about that because I told you guys in my first one, my first episode, I'm doing a no buy, but it's technically a low buy because if I do a no buy, I'm going to go all out and spend all my money. But if I think of it as a low buy, then I'm going to actually work for it and not spend my money. I, I don't know. Let me know if you guys understand what's going on in my brain. Let me know. So I did that. And then my oil change that I had to get last week, that, that, just, that just ruined my savings so bad. I did not prepare for that. I totally did not prepare for that. I drive so much, I get oil changes frequently, and that's on my part for not watching my miles and preparing for it. So I did do good with not going out, which is great because I usually go out like once a week. I don't, but I didn't, so that's good. Um, so I saved about $30. And I have just been really working hard on loving my life at home, enjoying the outdoors. I've been swinging in my hammock every single day on my days off and it's really fun so how much i made this paycheck i'm not happy about it because somehow i had sunday which is one of the days i work i had it off because i was supposed to go camping but i didn't go but i still took that vacation day off so i made a hundred dollars less than usual and that really hurt my paycheck this paycheck that really hurt me it's crazy how much it hurt <laughs> so i'm really struggling right now so i'm really going to be cutthroat with my money also i have a vet bill coming up this upcoming wednesday and i don't know how much it is i'm gonna guess it's about a hundred dollars we have to get next guard for my dogs because my cat is like an outdoor cat and we found a flea on him so I have to go get an next guard, but he has to go to get an appointment first. So it's probably gonna be at least $100. I'm not excited about that. My savings are gonna go down so bad. So with that, that bill coming up, I should be at about like $150 in my savings account, which is not good at all. But I mean, it is what it is. I didn't save enough money in my savings, but I'm happy that I actually have some money for stuff like this, so I don't know. <laughs> Where we were at, we were at 1600 or like 1605, I think. And we're just gonna stay there because I cannot give my $100 to that. I just can't, I have a vet bill. 
So it's gonna stay at, my Chase Freedom is going to stay at $1,605 for another two weeks is insane because I usually always make a payment. Good thing I made a payment last paycheck, so it did cover the minimum payment and then some, but it just kind of sucks not having a payment to make this paycheck because I'm just so used to making even a small payment every paycheck. I mean, that's life. I don't know what to do other than just be sad. <laughs> my goals, my goals for the next two weeks. Right now, I'm looking for a new job. If I don't get this position that I applied for inside my job, I will continue to look for a new job. Something that is closer, the same amount, hopefully a little bit better, like, but where I live, stuff doesn't pay that high over here. So it's a real struggle, but I really do need to find a new job that has normal hours because the job I work now does not have normal hours. Like I cannot work two jobs. There's no way I can balance two jobs because of how long my hours are um, for the minimum amount of money that I make, which is crazy. If I don't get this new position, if I get this new position, then I can find a second job to work. So that would help. I'm just waiting in the middle at this point. So I'm gonna to continue to apply for jobs and just have a no spend for the next two weeks because this vet bill is gonna kill me. <laughs> it's not gonna kill me, it's just gonna damper into my savings, which is really scary. That's pretty much it. I also wanted to buy curtains for our bedroom, but I can't do that. So that's gonna have to wait, which sucks. So it's also just pushing through and trying my best at my job, just trying, just working to stay happy, motivated, and help the kids as best as I can. That is my biggest goal for the next two weeks at work because I absolutely need this new position. I'm sorry guys if I don't sound too happy. I just woke up, <laughs> so I'm still a little out, out of it, but also this isn't really a good update, I guess, but that's the truth. It's real life, so. But I am still on track with, with paying this off. I've also been thinking about what card I wanna pay off next, and I think I'm gonna pay off my Capital One card. That is the card with my second highest amount and the interest is so much. So we'll talk about that at the end of August, which is the next update. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.